Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Kellen here again with Droid Life. So today, kind of a special day, and you can tell by what I have sitting in front of me, the news just dropped. OnePlus has announced two new phones, a OnePlus 8 and a OnePlus 8 Pro. And yeah, we, we happen to have both of them in front of us in these giant boxes. So lots to talk about. We should start where we always do though, and uh, let's unbox them. So OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro unboxing. So this unboxing experience might be a little interesting, and I say that because, well, there's two. So uh, what we're gonna do is get these out of the boxes, show you the phones and all of that. I just wanna point out though that these are special review packages. OnePlus often sends us reviewers um, the phones in a special box that has some cases and things like that. So if you buy these phones, you, they won't come in these boxes, I apologize. However, the phone in here should be exactly what you'll get should you order. So uh, anyway, let, let's slide these. I believe this is the 8 and the 8 Pro. Let's start with the 8. So we'll kind of slide this guy and we'll do a little bit of slidey here. Okay, never settle. Still going with that uh, slogan, I see. All right, let's flip this up. All right, big eight. Uh, all right, so the cases say one plus eight. So this is indeed the eight. It would say, I'm assuming eight pro if these were the pro. So a couple of cases for us to test nylon bumper. And this actually says sandstone bumper and it's colored. So we have cyan colored uh, sandstone, which is very exciting. Let's see if we can pull this guy out and quadruple confirm here that this is just the regular eight. Uh, yep, yes, indeed. So uh, one plus eight, you can see that right there. So not the pro. Um, red packaging, this is kind of what they've gone with the last couple OnePlus logo. I believe these are all the new fonts and all of that stuff that they just announced very recently. So um, here's the eight, set that down. All right, so this should be the pro then. So also similar packaging. And again, this is kind of reviewer packaging stuff here. So uh, let's flip this up and another eight, but yes, yeah, see one plus eight pro also different cutouts here because there's a different camera setup. So here we are, a uh, carbon bumper case. And then again, that cyan sandstone bumper. Very, very nice. And then this sh should be the Pro. And sure enough, it is. One plus eight Pro. All right, cool. So both of these out of the boxes. Let me get all of this stuff out of the way and let's just focus on phones. We moved in a little tighter here. Uh, here we are. So box size, you can see the uh, the Pro on this side, a little bit bigger. I believe the phone is a little bit bigger. It's also just a little bit thicker, a little taller of a box. There's a ridge there. I don't know if this really matter, if we really care. One plus logos there, big eights up there. And then this is where we get the differences. Eight Pro and regular eight. All right, so uh, let's start cutting into these. So we're just gonna go with the uh, with this guy first, because this is the eight. Is there a pull tab? Am I supposed to grab this? Oh yeah, look at that. There's like an actual little pull tabby. So uh, I will say, because uh, recording this well before uh, today's date, I, I don't know pricing. So I will add that at the end of the video or right now up here or something. Um, so uh, yeah, I do not have pricing, sorry. I will, uh, we'll, we'll make sure we get that before this video ends for you. Regular eight, okay, let's see what we got. Um, typically guides and stuff in here. Ooh, I can see a SIM removal tool popping out. So SIM removal tool, should be some guides. I believe they typically throw stickers and stuff in here too. Yeah, so stickers, I believe these are a bunch of stickers. Invitation letter. Uh, do you guys want to see the invitation letter? Sure, why not? What is the invitation? This is your OnePlus, a smartphone made hand in hand with our community. Okay, anyway, it's just one of those welcome letter things. Um, so here's the phone, little teaser on the front there. Looks like we have an in-display fingerprint reader. Ooh, nice, nice size there. Um, so charger in the box, so USB-C A to USB-C, uh, standard OnePlus stuff there. Um, fold up this, well you can see already it says warp charge right there. So this phone does indeed support warp charging and it's 30 watt warp charging or 30 warp charge 30T, whatever whatever we're up to. So it's the big guy. So here is the big guy. Um, I thought there was some other stuff in here. Maybe it's in, maybe it's in here. No, I thought this came with a case, maybe not. Maybe it's this guy, the pro that comes with the case. Either way, so there is your eight out of the box. Let's. Uh, Slide this a little bit, keep these things separate. Let's now look at the 8 Pro. 
Again, still don't don't have pricing for you. If I, unless I've already put it on the screen, hopefully I did that. Oh, I could use that pull tab instead. I went with the knife habit, I guess. All right, pulling this out. Shake, shake, shake. All right, here is the pro. So by no means are either is one of these uh, higher tier necessarily than the other in terms of specs. They're both very similar. There's just some extra stuff in this pro that we will talk about. Um, so, yeah, so here's where the extra stuff is. So yeah, the pro comes with that sort of TPU clear case that they've been putting in for a while. Um, it says never settle there. It's kind of got a texture on the inside to it. Um, so this does come with that. So sorry, the eight doesn't, eight pro does come with this little guy um, in here. Also warp charge. So you do get a warp charger in the box. There's the big guy there. Same USB A to C case. And uh, did I miss guides? Uh, they're just in here in here so um in case you're wondering should be similar stuff in here if i can get it all out probably the welcome letter the stickers and uh or sorry the invitation letter so anyway that's basically your inbox experience you guys just care about the phones uh, cleaning up again all right well it's it's time to finally talk details i know i've kind of been taking my sweet time so one plus eight one plus eight pro let's get some plastic off and see what we are working with here. You guys, can you already see that? You already see that shine? All right, let's take that sticker off and set that. That's it's looking nice. All right, let's see what this Ooh, looks like. We've got blue on the pro. Okay, take stickers. Ooh, these stickers are nice. Did you see that thing peel off there, folks? All right, so here they are in hand. One plus eight in my left, one plus eight pro in my right. This, I believe, is called Interstellar Glow on the 8. It's very mirror-ish. It's got definitely some sort of gradient. You see as I move that, you can get some different colors in there. Very cool, although that's going to be a fingerprint magnet. On the other hand, this 8 Pro, I believe this is ultramarine blue, and it's definitely a matte finish that is probably not going to have fingerprints all over it. So while this looks great right now because it's clean, I'm, I'm worried about that. Um, each phone also... Onyx black for both of them, which I believe is also a glossy. And then they also each come in a glacial green. And the green, I'm telling you, it's a matte finish, I believe, as well. It is very attractive as well. Kind of sad that they didn't send me that. I'm trying not to complain, but uh, yeah. So uh, this is Interstellar Glow. This is Ultramarine Blue. Oh, the sensors. Whew, looking great. All right, so let's start with the with the eight. You guys want to know specs? Um, first of all, there is a screen protector on here. Um, I'm not going to rip that off out of the gate because I'm going to let Tim do that if he wants to. Let's uh, let's turn this on though, just so you can see up here. Fingerprint, or I'm sorry, a camera up there. Do this as well. This regular eight, really nice size. Although this Pro isn't the largest phone I've ever held. Very nice build as well. All right, so um, if we're talking, did I turn that on? I don't think I did. There we go, okay. So uh, eight, so specs, 6.55 inch uh, FHD, full HD, fluid AMOLED, 90 Hertz, 2400 by 1080. So 90 Hertz, just like you saw on last year's OnePlus 7 Pro and 7T, although this is more in line with the 7T because it's 1080p, not Quad HD, which the 7 Pro was. Snapdragon 865 though, so you still got that high tier Qualcomm chipset in there. So you can already get in little smudgies there from my sweaty hands. Um, so 865, so performance should be amazing. Eight gig or 12 gig LPDDR5 RAM, 128 gig or 256 gig UFS 3.0 storage, 4,300 milliamp hour battery with that 30T warp charging. Um, on the back here for cameras, you do have, it's triple camera. So you have a 48 megapixel main camera followed by a 16 megapixel ultra wide. And then you also have a two megapixel macro lens. Um, F1.75 on the 48 megapixel main camera, F2.2 on the ultra wide, F2.4 on the macro. Um, so there is the, the camera set up there. Um, on the front up here in this corner, so no more teardrop notch. We actually do have that hole punch cutout. That is a 16 megapixel selfie camera, F2.0. The video on the back, we don't have 8K recording, but we do have 4K at 60 frames per second and all the slow-mos and all that stuff. Um, as far as other internals, Wi-Fi 6. So OnePlus phones now have Wi-Fi 6, which is the AX Wi-Fi, 802.11ax. Um, Wi-Fi 6, so super fast. Bluetooth 5.1, the latest, NFC. There is 5G connectivity on here. 
I've looked at the bands and as far as I can tell, we don't have millimeter wave support. So it's gonna be mid and low band, which is fine. Millimeter wave is impossible and for to connect to. Um, the, the wider reaching stuff is gonna be that low and mid band, but you do have 5G support. Of course you have band support on all the other carriers in the US as well. Um, in display fingerprint reader, which I don't have fired up at the moment, but there is an in display fingerprint. You have dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos support. USB-C down here on the bottom, and that's USB 3.1. No headphone jack. There is your SIM tray though. 180 grams on this guy, and it is eight millimeters thick. So uh, in the comparison guide, I've seen about a pencil width thick. So that is your one plus eight. Set that down. You guys really want to talk about this guy, right? So this is the Pro. So Pro, because it has just a couple of extra bumps in specs. So let's flip over here. So if we're talking display, 6.78 inch quad HD fluid AMOLED, and we're at 120 hertz. So this guy down here was 1080p 90 hertz. We're now quad HD, 120 hertz. So the smoothness here, I mean, this regular 1.8 is gonna be stupid smooth, but 120 hertz is where the Galaxy S20 lineup is, and it is going to be glorious. Uh, that's 3168 by 1440, 513 pixels per inch. So very, very high resolution display here. Uh, HDR10 plus support, MEMC, motion blur reducing uh, video support as well. 1300 nits of uh, max brightness, so quite bright. Uh, Snapdragon 865, of course, 8 gig or 6 or 12, I'm sorry, 8 gig or 12 gig LP DDR5 RAM. So the same RAM, same storage too as that, 128 gig or 256 UFS 3.0. So RAM storage, same processor, the same. Battery though, 45, 10 milliamp hour in this guy, so slightly bigger. You have that 30T warp charging. However, there is one difference. So, well, two differences. So 45, 10 milliamp hour here, 43 there, so slightly bigger. Um, there's one thing I haven't really really brought up yet and it is uh it's this you guys know what that is right that is a wireless charger and yes that's one plus branding and you're going kellen they they don't make a phone with wireless charging they do they do now the one plus eight pro has wireless charging not only does it have wireless charging it has 30 watt warp charge wireless charging so this charger you can see it on the bottom down here right here 30 watt warp charge so wireless charging they're saying you can go one percent to fifty percent in 30 minutes on a wireless charger just let that soak in for a second i'm hoping it doesn't just melt everything i'm assuming it's going to get stupid hot but you know oneplus has done some cool stuff with charging in the past where they take the heat when a phone is charging and throw it into the charger so maybe they figured out some magic here with wireless charging so we do have wireless charging here on the pro Yay, for the first time, 30 watt wire. It should be stupid fast, at least for that first 50% or so, or maybe 75%. There's also reverse wireless charging. So if you wanna charge up some buds, you can do that right on the back, just like you can on Samsung's phones, Huawei phones, that sort of thing. Continuing on there, now that you've caught your breath and been like, oh my God, they actually have wireless charging. Um, main camera setup, you can see it's quite different than the, uh, the OnePlus 8. Um, we got some extra sensors here. So, 48 megapixel main camera, optical image stabilization, electric image, electronic image, stabiliz image stabilization, so OIS, EIS, uh, F1.78. Then you have a 48 megapixel ultra wide as well. So 48 in the main, 48 in the ultra wide at F2.2 with 120 degree uh, field of view. Uh, that will also shoot, your, your ultra wide will also shoot in macro mode. Remember the macro mode from the 7T that I loved so much? It's back here again, super macro mode in the ultra wide. You also have an eight megapixel telephoto lens with optical image stabilization. And then there's a fourth sensor that is a five megapixel color filter camera at F2.4. I'm Yeah, F2.4. Sorry, I, I have no idea yet what it's going to do, but it they're billing it as some sort of creative feature. So there must be some color things going on in the camera that will take advantage of that. There's there's a lot. Uh, if we flip over, 16 megapixel camera up there and that hole punch, no 8K video, but again, 40K, 60 FPS, all the slow-mos and all that stuff. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, 5G. Same thing with 5G here. Looked at the bands, did not see millimeter wave support, but all the other bands are there. In display fingerprint reader, dual stereo speakers. You can see that speaker in the grill up there. If we get close enough, you should be able to see that little grill. And then if we go down here to the bottom, once again, USB-C, that's 3.1. Speaker, SIM tray, 199 grams. So the other one's 180, so this one's a little bit heavier. Eight and a half millimeters thick, so slightly thicker as well. 
And that is your OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. One thing I did want to point out is, did you guys notice how the buttons are? They're blue. What a nice little touch there. We love playing with colors. Alert slider on each. Do a little tour here. So they still have that OnePlus alert slider that OnePlus has uh, continued to put in almost all of their phones. Power switches. And then if we flip over, those are your volume rockers. Uh, up top, just noise canceling mic it looks like. You can see a little bit of a camera hump sticking out from both of these. Let's see if we turn them this way. We do have little, well, bigger camera hump here, different sensors, littler camera hump here on the 8. I think you guys will probably survive with that. OnePlus branding everywhere. Very similar designs, but also unique in their own right. So um, I'm going to put these down, jump past all the startup stuff here, show you guys a little bit of software. All right, moving along here. So I'm, I'm into software on the 8 Pro. So um, Google's uh, navigation gestures are here. I don't have anything open at the moment. But Google's navigation gestures here. It is Android 10. Uh, Android 11 is not out. It's in developer preview at this time. So it's not out yet. So we're still on Android 10. Oxygen OS on top of that as well. So that's OnePlus' skin that we love that they put on top of Android. That's still very minimal, yet they continue to add useful features to it. So a um, couple of things to note. Uh, well, let's go into display. Comfort tone, that looks new. Comfort tone, automatically adapts screen color based on ambient light. Well, we love that stuff. Uh, advanced screen calibration, resolution. Um, auto switch to the appropriate resolution automatic. Uh, I'm curious, it's probably on full HD because we're on 120 Hertz. So there is no like middle ground or like 90 Hertz or something. It's 120 or 60. Um, let's see if I switch it to QHD if it says, may cause some, but I'm gonna switch. I'm just curious if it'll stay at 120 Hertz. It did, so we have QHD at 120 Hertz it looks like, whereas Samsung, you know, they drop you down um, to uh, full HD for 120 Hertz, so that's cool. Front camera display area, what is that? Show the front camera, hide the front camera. Oh, you can basically drop down a, uh, a, 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 a status bar that covers that up. We're not gonna do that. Anyway, so just kind of looking through things, poking through some stuff. Night mode, reading mode, ambient display, uh, motion graphics smoothing. So if you want that weird motion graphics smoothing you see on TVs done on your phone, you can turn that on there. Um, okay, cool. There's one other thing though. There, there's supposedly like a dark mode 2.0 that they implemented where it helps everything turn dark if you want to. Um, so I'm assuming dark is nuanced dark. Let's see if that flips everything to black. Sure does, uh, but they're calling it dark mode 2.0 um, and we'll have to play more with it just to kind of see what's going on there. But there's some other customizations in here, clock, fingerprint, horizon light. So it looks like the edges will light up maybe when you get notifications and things like that. How fun, how fun. Anyways, um, I don't wanna to dive too much into software just because we save this for our first 10 things video and things like that. Um, but this is definitely one new, or I'm sorry, Oxygen OS. You guys are very familiar with this stuff. There's your utilities. Buttons and gestures, again, I have the navigation stuff going on, Google's navigation button, but you can switch to um, a three button style if you want. Um, I think that's mostly it. Let's fire up the camera, see if there's anything unique going on in here. Sure, camera, um, slow motion, panorama, time lapse, video portraits, nightscape, pro modes. Let's go back to photo, Let's swipe up here, similar stuff. So Nightscape obviously is uh, their night mode. Ultrashot HDR I believe is a new feature, video resolution. Just looking for anything that stands out. I will definitely turn the grid on. Ultra wide lens uh, correction, that sort of stuff. Fast camera, lots of testing to do. I don't wanna hang around here too much. Um, so OnePlus 8 Pro, again, this is this is the, the the upper tier flagship of the two. They're both very much still flagships. Um, again, I'll have pricing any second now if I haven't already. Here is uh, this thing though. I know this has probably got your guys' attention. So this is their first wireless chargeable phone and here is the charger. So I'm, I'm assuming that's a fan and it's probably gonna turn on and whiz to keep everything cool. You see there's some separation here for the back and the back, the back of this and the back of your phone. Um, and also a little vent right there. You see that vent? Because that fan's gonna need to be cooling the phone down as it's warp charging. Uh, nice design on it though. Um, there's a OnePlus logo in that grid. You can kind of see it a little bit there on the back. So they're definitely gonna have to do some heavy cooling as we, uh, as, we, as we charge here and put the phone on. So 
Here's the foam leaning against it. See that gap back there? Yeah, there's gonna be some ventilation going on there with that fan. Um, so wireless charging. There's there's a lot going on here. I can't wait to dive in. That 120 hertz oxygen OS, wireless charging, all of that fun stuff. So uh, not to keep you guys any longer. I know this video has been long enough, but how exciting. Two OnePlus phones, full reviews coming. All, all the stuff coming. Stick with us. Uh, we are Droid Life. Peace.